Hello, I'm Gina Harris and welcome to another Soul Food and Grace Moment. Today's message is Acts 3, 6, and that is the New King James Version that I'm reading. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. You guys, like seriously, this is so powerful. And I know I shared a little bit. I actually shared this yesterday, but I felt like God really wanted me to expand on this. And, you know, as we have explored the last couple of weeks on what the Bible teaches about healing, um, I just know God is guiding and leading more brothers and sisters that have been caught in these false doctrines to these messages. I just feel it like as I'm just saying this, I'm feeling this strongly in my spirit and they could, you could be listening to this very secretly. And if so, I, I, you know, I, I lift you, I lift you. You might feel confused. You might feel confused and I'm just praying for you today. I, I actually understand where you're at and, and may these messages just lead you to that clarity. I just, I just pray that you seek him, seek him for that truth. So as yesterday we read in Acts, I'm going to continue to read, but I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to read the whole like section of Acts 3 where Peter heals um, the lame beggar. So here it goes. One day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at the in the afternoon. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg for those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver or gold, I do not have, but what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw, saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what, God, at what had happened to him. It's amazing, you guys. Ooh, this is just amazing. And there's so much like, I, who knows where I'm going to be led to carry on with this because I'll tell you, you know, they could have given him money. We see people begging. Oh yeah, I'm not going to go in that direction. I'm going to obey what God is placing in my heart. So I'm going to keep it relevant and keep this a short message as always. But maybe God will guide me to explore um, further and deeper on this. Um, because, wow, there's, there's, we still see this happening in our world today. So, so dispelling any tendency to, to, you know, credit human ability with the healing, Peter instead cited one factor, and, and that is literally one factor only, that brought in the name of Jesus. So take a moment now and reflect on your own life. Consider this incident from Acts 3 in the light of the health battles that maybe you have been fighting. Could specific, concerted, and intentional prayer in the name of Jesus be a missing element for you? Maybe this is a factor that could make a significant difference in your situation. Maybe any of these situations that I've brought forward, that God has brought forward over the last two weeks, maybe that's the missing element. And I just pray this message reached you today and you find the truth and the healing. Please send me a message by commenting below wherever you found this um, and just share how God's working in your life. Um, just share. I would love to hear from you. Please share this message if it, if it calls to your spirit. Um, share in however God is, is, is you know, asking you to share. So place your hands of your heart and claim this power I am today. 
today I rise. I love that. It's so like three words. How powerful is it? Claim it one more time. Today I rise. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you again tomorrow. I love you guys. Have a blessed week.